All right, let's continue. Uh, uh. All right. Oh, we will have a permanent room here as well. Oh no, it's a different area. Maybe not. Oh. They have recipes. Mm. Cup of grain food. Grain food meat soup. Tatakos. Grapefruit meat soup. What is grapefruit? Is it corn? Oh, we don't have a cup of grapefruit here. Uh, I can just see the press. Ah, here. A cup of grapefruit. Yeah, okay. It doesn't look like. Okay, not sure what that is. Hmm. Welcome to the where any it good good eats and sweet sleeps. Please place your orders the bar and show okay. Just continue read no no. Just Dig in, you guys. Eat as much as you want. These dishes are all local specialties. There's more where this came from, too, so don't be shy. Let's feast until the bill gives the Archon a heart attack. Don't be dramatic. The Pyro Archon is very generous, even if it does cause some trouble for all the hotel workers and volunteers. Speaking of trouble, I've locked a Howe away for now, so you don't have to worry about him being a nuisance. Wait, isn't that a little harsh? Nah, Kenich and a Howe are always like that. Everyone has their own unique way of getting along with their Saurian companion. So that is a Saurian. What's got you all down in the dumps, Kachina? You don't have to worry about tomorrow. I'll be with you every step of the way. I know, I know. Everything's fine, really. I'm just... I'm just nervous. Sugar have brought I can't keep using my Same age as an her. excuse. I have to get stronger. I have to prove to people that I'm not trying to avoid the Night Warden Wars. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. You know your own heart. So stop beating yourself up over other people's opinions. If they don't think you deserve to bear your ancient name, they can take it up with the Wyub. Trust me, Kachina. The Wyub see something special in you. I just hope it's not the fact that I can take a few punches. I'm guessing the pilgrimage hasn't gone too well in the past. Yeah, I'm on a 7 or 8 pilgrimage losing streak. My ranking has been improving little by little, but still no wins. To be honest, losing 7 or 8 times isn't even a lot. Maybe other people can't see your improvement, but your performance still isn't something to scoff at. Yeah, didn't you say you got really close before? It's just... What if I don't even make it through the team stage this time? Hey, have a little faith, will you? You've got me on your team! Stumble, and I'll be there to get you back on your feet. Run into someone you can't beat, and we'll face them together. I know you've never tasted victory, but you trust me, don't you? Lilani, you're... you're the best! I trust you. I definitely do. And you're right. I've got to pull myself together. 
I still don't know why the Lyup chose me to inherit an ancient name. But... I can't be the only bear who's ever felt this way. If they can keep at it, so can I. Not to mention, the fact that your ancient name has survived until now means all your forebears managed to honor its meaning. Otherwise, it would be lost to us by now, shattered by defeat in battle. That's right! And you'll have us rooting for you too! This goes cheerleaders, weren't you? No, no, no. It should be the other way around. I was clearly the one who asked to learn from you. But still... <laughs> Thanks, you guys. <sighs> Jeez, now I'm crying again. <laughs> Everyone has been so nice to me today. I'll win this time for sure. I won't let your support go to waste. Oh, right. I should eat something. My mom said I need to keep up my strength for tomorrow. Nice to see your game face back, Katina. Thanks for encouraging her, you two. It's easy for people to only see how she has a lot to learn, so... It isn't often that she meets people willing to treat her with patience. Don't you worry! We've seen how kind and hardworking she is! We can already tell she's a wonderful person! <laughs> Take it easy. You're getting tears in your food. I... I'll pour you all some drinks! I brought some homemade fruit juice. Let me just go grab some cups. She even travels with homemade juice? Yeah, what is it, huh? <laughs> Kachina's backpack is practically a bottomless pit. It's got everything. <sighs> That's true, but she definitely only offered us some so she could go find somewhere to cry for a little while. Seems like you two really look out for her. She's like a little sister to me, you know? She's already so talented. She just needs that one decisive win to convince her of it. And I have a feeling this is the one. This could be the win that finally gives her that confidence. Why are you so sure? Is that what happened to you? Oh, no, no. I was just born confident. Mulani's being modest. She's already a three-time veteran of the Night Warden Wars. Came out on top each time. And she's never had to be resurrected. Wow, that's amazing! Nah, it's no big deal. The opponents I had to face were pretty tame, that's all. Ooh, no wait, that makes it sound too unimpressive. Either way, the challenges haven't been that difficult so far. But I'd love to fight alongside Kachina and experience the glory of victory together. The flowers, the applause... Paimon gets it! That's how Paimon and the Traveler are too! Uh, we don't usually do for the applause, fighting side by side, yeah I guess, fighting side by side, are we really? Of course! Just think about it, Traveler! Where would you be without your guide? Drinks are here! <laughs> better try them while they're still fresh! I will go behind the now, map barrier, if all my guides. Me? <laughs> I'm totally fine! Really, I promise! That was just nerves earlier. I'm gonna get some meat in my system, then head out to get some exercise. Wanna be nice and loose for the tournament tomorrow. I'll come with you. Just don't go overboard, okay? The last thing we need is for someone to oversleep. We've got an early day tomorrow. <laughs> if only we had a friend who never oversleeps. Alright, fine. Make sure you guys are up on time. Attaboy! I knew you'd catch on. So full. Oh, I'm so sleepy. We should get a good night's sleep before the competition tomorrow. I'm still a little worried about Kachina, though. Maybe we can help her out with her training. She did say she wanted to learn from us. Not that Paimon's gonna be doing much of the teaching. Oh, I know something.
Okay, so the count. Ooh, where? Yeah, I thought we were going to our room, but now we're going. Oh, she doesn't recover uh, stamina when she's in that. Ah, okay. This is the training location. share some experience with you want to help you the best like, to do the best you can wow you guys are exactly like Kachina described no wonder she's already your biggest fan guess I should make myself scarce though Kachina was the one who helped you out all day so I don't want to intrude on your secret teachings yeah we should have some fans around it's exactly just a simple piece of advice actually Battle is more than just a contest of strength. Huh? What do you mean? <clears throat> Observation is also key. Observation? Study your opponent, master their habits, let wisdom become another weapon in your arsenal. Yeah! The person who hits the hardest isn't always the one who wins! Oh, I... I think I get it! You're saying, fight smarter, not harder! Having the strength to win is just as important as knowing the right strategy. Atta girl, Kachina. Exploit your opponent's weaknesses while maximizing your own strengths, and you're sure to find opportunities to turn the tides in your favor. You're right. I just need to focus. When I get nervous, I forget to assess the situation and end up rushing in without a plan. Mind sticking around a little longer, Mualani? I want to try out some new moves. Sure. Thanks for taking the time to teach me, you two. I won't let you down. Just give it your best shot. I'm not keeping you up, am I? You sure you'll be fine tomorrow? Oh, I'm bursting with energy. I couldn't sleep if I wanted to. Uh, oh no, wait. Back up there. Mm, yeah, it is up there, right? Oh yeah, I should visit the um, um the guild as well. Like everyone's here right on time. <laughs> Good to see that no one overslept. Says the one who only made it because I was there to get you. How? Not so loud. You're gonna give me a headache. Well, if you don't do well today, we know who to blame now, don't we? 
See how your friends talk to me, Kanich. I help you wake them up, make sure everyone's on time, and do I get a thank you, a how? No! I get told off! Mualani's right, though. <sighs> <sighs> Hopeless. Every last one of you. All right, moving on. How did you sleep last night, Kachina? I had some nerves at first, but my bed was great. I fell asleep the minute my head hit the pillow. That's good to hear. Maybe you handle stress better than you know. The competition's about to start. Did everyone eat something? A little. Didn't want to overdo it. Oh no! We were so busy focusing on the tournament, we forgot to buy something! I thought that might happen. Here, I brought you some. Thanks. No thanks necessary. I'll treat you to something even better once... Attention everyone! The tournament is about to begin! All contestants proceed to the venue. I repeat, all contestants proceed to the venue. Well, I'd say more, but that's our cue. The opening ceremony is what kicks everything off. You should be able to see Kachina and me from the stands. We're counting on you to cheer us on. Don't you worry! Paimon's gonna cheer so loud, you'll hear it across the stadium! Thanks, you two. I'll be sure to keep an ear out. Well, we should get going. See you later! Okay, bye-bye! Well. Attention everyone! The tournament's about to begin! All spectators, please take your seats. I repeat, all spectators, please take your seats. Oh, that's our cue! Wow, we've definitely never witnessed a competition of this scale before! Let's go in once you're ready! Yeah, that's weird, we're usually participating in the competition. Uh, actually, can I just prefer to do that? Check up here. Uh, that's, that won't be unlocked yet. Hmm. Then grab that. So... Ad Astra Abyssosk. Hey there, Catherine. Great to see you here. I am Catherine, the receptionist of the Adventist Guild. My job is to provide interest quests, intelligent support, enable is a nation full of opportunities, so make the most of it while you're here. Also, where there's conflict, there's opportunity, and for someone who's always ready to join the action, this place is a year-round invitation. In more concrete terms, there are ruins to be explored all over Nathalem, and warriors all across the land are in a constant battle against the forces of the Abyss. In short, it's an adventure's paradise. Yeah, I actually wanted to know something more about Catherine. Entering the stadium of the Sacred Flame, you won't be able to leave the arena once the tournament begins. During the pilgrimage of the return of the Sacred Flame, certain systems and functions will be unavailable, but you'll be restored once the competition ends. To ensure you'll have the best experience, it is recommended that you experience the next part of the start when you have ample time to complete it. How ample time? Well, I just started streaming, so... Two hours, maybe. It's ample time enough. Enter the stains. Okay, I guess I stopped at a good place yesterday. Otherwise, I would stop here now.
The pilgrimage of the return of the sacred flame is a competition with a long storied history. Countless hopefuls have gathered here today, each vying for the same prize, the right to serve their homeland in the Night Warden Wars. Before we begin, allow me to remind everyone of the rules. Today's tournament begins with the team stage, before advancing into individual competition. Each team will board a hot air balloon, which will land at a random location. Contestants must search for fire towers within the contest grounds, accumulate contending fire through combat, and bring a sufficient amount back to the stadium. Defeat in combat, departure from the contest grounds, and running out of time all lead to elimination. Only the strongest teams will be able to withstand the onslaught of battle and return to the arena, blazing fire in hand. Only those who emerge triumphant in the team stage earn the right to take part in the individual battles. The outcome of these one-on-one -on -one matches not only affects the contestants' individual scores, but also determines their next opponent. After many rounds of battle, the contestants with the top five rankings will get the chance to take part in the Night Warden Wars. Now, let us welcome our Archon as she delivers the opening address. Strategy, fortune, form. Many factors influence strength, but victory never lies. The pilgrimage is not merely a trial to determine the strongest among us, but also a stage upon which to showcase your individual growth. Today marks the beginning of yet another legendary saga, one written in the triumphs of the victors. So, without further ado, let the games begin! So that's the Pyro Archon? Uh, is it just Paimon, or does she seem kind of intimidating? Kachina said she was friendly and welcoming, but, uh, how did she come to that conclusion? Mm, she seems much more friendly than the Shogun. She does seem pretty imposing. I want to talk to her. Yeah. It would be kind of rude to bother her during the pilgrimage, don't you think? We should wait for a better time. Oh, oh look! It's Kachina and the others! Well, folks, it's clear the contestants are already raring to go. The teams will now board their hot air balloons and make their way to the competition grounds. Chaska! 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 Kick their butts, Itzna! Go, Mulani, go! You can do it, Kachina! And the crowd goes wild! The hot air balloons are about to ascend. Contestants, prepare yourselves to take flight! Remember the rules. The balloons will take you to random locations, and your battle starts the moment you land. Best your competition, collect sacred fire, and bring it back to the stadium. Good luck, everyone! Yeah, the poor Archon should be immune to pyro damage when we are fighting on grass or something, right? Unlike every other pyro character. Guess this is where we're starting. Let me see. This seems pretty quiet around here. Looks like we get to ease ourselves into combat today. Let's head that way. We don't need to worry about avoiding other teams. Anyone that crosses our path can kiss their chances goodbye. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Just remember, don't hesitate. The team matches are all about keeping the energy up. So let's do it! I didn't test And with that, yet. the pilgrimage is now underway. Time for the contestants to give it their all! That's fine. I can't quite see where 
where her arm is during that. And an unoccupied one from the looks of it. Oh, that's much better than Kachina. Be on the lookout for an ambush. Careful, we've got company! Kachina! Let's hope you put up a good fight! Get ourselves an easy start! <laughs> timing! We've got to fight to generate contending fire in the first place. So let's go! Winner takes all, loser Things stay there. Out of the way or get blown away. This was new. We're just getting started. Grab the fire and let's head to the next spot. Currently in the lead, we have Chaska, one of the contestants from the Flower Feather Clan, really leaving her competitors in the dust. Uh, hang on. Where? Oh, I just wanted to see the map. I don't need to leave the place. I just wanted to see it. Amaru has taken out six contestants in a row. What a legendary competitor! But can his hot streak continue? Off we go. Uh. Oh, well, aren't you two an interesting duo? How did these monsters make it onto the grounds? It's part of the tournament. We can't handle a few monsters. How are you supposed to repel the abyss? Look. Why don't we handle these monsters first? Then we can battle it out between ourselves. Not familiar in the area. I don't know where I am. Even though I can see. I knew someone would oh. show up. Hand over the sacred fire and no one gets hurt. have run into each other. Looks like it's gonna be an early goodbye for one of these formidable competitors. Do I have to fight them? Well, I can beat everybody, so... Carving way! You deserve for it? Actually, wait, hang on a moment. I didn't make that dish, but... Uh, she heals? Is that it? Because I got full health there. Max HP, damage. Okay, she's based on max HP, but does she heal? Um, Sharkalaka. Okay, I don't know. I'll, I'll check them. I'll test them from where this stuff works. Uh, 
Kashina can interval the fusions. Ah, she can do that like the the Petlisaurus. Running trouble really, Kashina, great increase. What are my skills for trouble? This mountain is huge. Is the next tower really all the way up there? It's going to take forever to make it to the top. Just leave it to me. I'll get us up there. Um. Uh. We made it! Great work, Kachina! <laughs> I don't Glad I could choose help. where. <laughs> it's not mine, so. She doesn't. Come on! Get the empty fire tower. It's too late. Damn it! And another competitor crosses the finish line. Ian-san from the Collective of Plenty certainly living up to some lofty expectations. Our team captain talked a big game before the match, and well, was that a quick knockout or what? Should keep a better lookout next time I sign up. Hmm. Off we go. Let's ride. Kachina, is that you? I'm sorry about this, but since we ran into each other, I can't just let you pass. If you want glory, you'll have to go through me! Out of the way, or get blown away! Your contestants remain in play. The remaining competitors need to hurry if they want to make it out of this stage. Hmm. Oh, don't worry. I just want to talk. Hold it right there. That fire is mine. In your dreams, I think someone needs a reality check, and I'm more than happy to oblige. Where's that man going? <laughs> I like to see you try. Hey, let's work together. Good yeah. idea. No way I'm letting them pull the rug out there. Let's go. Let's finish this. Well, well. Here comes another. Where did I over there? This was new. That was quick. Faster. Out of the I way. You get blown away. You guys, so I see her here. I'd right. So here. Let's get him, fellas. Captain, I, I can't keep going. There's plenty more. Okay, but it should end here, right? We've collected enough sacred fire. Still doing all right, Kachina? Yep, all good. Come on, let's head back to the stadium. Time's almost up. Contestants who have yet to collect enough sacred fire will need to really push if they want to advance. Way of 
over there. We can ride it back. Out of the way, you're getting blown away! Why Night Souls Blessing, Molan can ride spirit ways. Use her domain skill to enter Night Souls Blessing. Ah, uh, you know. Hear me out, you two! There's no fire tower around here, so there's no need for us to fight it out. We can see who comes out on top the next time we run into each other. But for now, I say we focus on preserving our strength. What do you think? I think the less... Uh, competition we have, the better. Okay, that's cool. Oh, we really lucked out. Just grab on to Mikachina. I'm not sure if you remember, but people from my tribe can ride spirit ways over great distances. It's all smooth sailing from here. Thanks, Milani. Hey, what are you thanking me for? We won as a team. There's no way I could have taken on that many people without you. Have a little faith in yourself. You're already a great warrior. Yeah, I feel like the people on that one have are way more overpowered than the rest of the of the bots. Not necessarily stronger, <laughs> but they, oh, those were some steep they have more skills. You're not scared, are you? I'm fine. I don't scare easily. Not after that last ride you took me on. Oh yeah, back when we first met, right? I accidentally knocked over your piece of cake, then offered to take you spirit way surfing to make up for it. Actually, I was feeling pretty down that day. My training didn't go well, and... Anyway, you really cheered me up. Molani, I... I really want to win this time. I want to win this pilgrimage and become a true warrior. Now that's what I like to hear. Let's meet each other at the top and fight in the Night Warden Wars together. If your team has gathered enough fire, please proceed to the stadium as quickly as possible. I repeat, as quickly as possible. Oh. Hey, we never see you all around. Wow. You could be cheering like the others. It's not like you don't have those animations. Congratulations, Mualani! Congratulations, Kachina! You've successfully cleared the team stage! Amazing! Congratulations! Congratulations! Oh, poor Kachina! I used Mualani to <laughs> pull her up. Kachina! Do everything. Kachina! Mualani! Woo! Kachina! Mualani! You two can take a short break while the team stage comes to a close. We'll draw names to determine the individual matchups in a moment. After that, we'll proceed to the next stage of the competition. I wish you both the best. You two are assigned to different lounge areas. If you'll follow me, please, Kachina. Solo battles next. And I was three wins short last time. I've got to do better. Just calm down, Kachina. You're in good form. You can do this. Hold it right there. This is the contestants lounge. Unauthorized access is prohibited. We're contestants too. Let us through. According to my list, you're not among the individual match contenders, nor are you related to any of the remaining candidates. Well, we'd still be candidates if it was just based on strength. We only lost because two other contestants snuck up on us like cowards. If you could just go contact the referee, we'll wait right here for you to... Ugh. Wait, you two are... Well, look who we have here. Remember us? Your little trick got us disqualified. 
since we've crossed paths again, let's settle this once and for all. We'll see who truly deserves to advance to the next stage. Fight us! Right now? Don't mind him, Kachina. Tournament rules place you under no obligation to honor that request. A loss is a loss, and that's final. You! Don't just stand there! Get security over here now! Forget the rules! Isn't the pilgrimage about picking the strongest warriors? She just happened to catch us off guard! It was all luck! Exactly! Now's our chance to duke it out fair and square! Kachina! Very happy to oblige. Uh, who are you? This Traveler, with them all. Paimon, what are you doing here? We just came to have a chat and then all of a sudden these guys were threatening you! <laughs> You're not bullying Kachina on our watch! Uh, thanks, you guys. I don't know your names, but if you really want to face me, I'll allow it. It has to wait until after the tournament, though. I need to focus on the upcoming matches. I don't want to let my parents down, or any of the friends who helped me get this far. That's enough, you two. Being caught off guard is not an excuse. You think you can cry foul play when you face the abyss? If this behavior persists, you may find yourselves barred from future competition. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go. And they face the abyss. Uh, well, they stop before because they don't Are you have... alright? You're not hurt oh, no. anywhere, are you? Maybe they have the names, no. they just don't have visions. Thanks to you. Yeah. To be honest, I totally blanked out just now. I had no idea what to do. It's alright, just relax. Focus on your upcoming matches. Alright. I... I'll show them what I'm made of. That sounds more like it. You can do it! I heard there was trouble. Has the situation been resolved? Yes. It was nothing out of the ordinary. A couple of sore losers coming to stir up trouble with the contestants. <sighs> Some people are so obsessed with glory, they can't even bear the idea of failure. I hope you don't let them get to you, Kachina, because you'll need to get ready. Your match is up soon. Well, that came up quick. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> well, guess I'm off. Main bulletin board. Okay, what's here? The competition was on board. The match is schedule and contest the scores that's played here. My next opponent is new to the pilgrimage, but they still seem really strong. Is is it really possible for me to come out on top? New to the pilgrimage? Wouldn't just young people be new to the pilgrimage? Isn't that something that most netherlands do throughout their lives? Fire yourself, Kachina, and don't get too tense. Oh, yeah, it's quite monster huntery around here. Uh, ah, it's we issued a warning to those two troublemakers. But try not to let them get to you. We get people like that every year. The pilgrimage symbolizes glory, and some people can't accept missing out on the chance to claim it. Yeah, but we should be able to fight them afterwards. Those loadings are fast. You must be Kachina. You know, people told me I got lucky in the draw, but I beg to differ. There are no coincidences in the arena. If you're standing here, it means you're strong. No matter what anyone says. What a nice guy. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what you're made of. That's the team muscle. stage ended before I had my fill of battle. I hope you don't disappoint. Well, anything you want to say in return? Yeah, how are you a newbie? I won't lose to you. Not when so many people are supporting me, and cheering for me, and I... 
I really want to earn a spot in the Night Warden Wars. All right. Our contestants have each said their piece. To your places, everyone. And begin! lost. <laughs> Knew I had an eye for the good ones. Guess that means I was right about you all along. Congratulations to Kachina for taking the win. Let's give her a round of applause, everyone. Now, diving into the other matchups. That's one down! Woohoo! Uh, okay, I don't have to fight everybody. Ah, they don't have to win every fight. Just the moves. That's, that makes more sense. That's barrier. If they just get eliminated, if the second best gets lucky enough and goes against the best one right at first, They'll never get you the semifinals. Where do you come from, kid? Think you've got what it takes to go to war? <laughs> Hate to break it to you, but it won't be easy to get through me. And you are... <laughs> you don't recognize me? <laughs> Figures. Our generation's been in decline ever since Atea and the others retired from the front lines. Either way, once we face off, you won't forget my name anytime soon. <laughs> Let's do this! Hear that? The exhilarating cheers of the crowd! That's why I'm here! The first star of... Exquimily. Okay, so she's a pearl mage. Oh! That's cool. Oh! She has a second face? Oh! Oh, okay. Let's go, Twilly! And she doesn't have a vision. Yeah, people not want to use more of her power.
really doesn't have a vision. She's strong. I can't rush this. Just like the traveler said. I need to observe my opponent and look for an opportunity. Come on, Katina, you can do it! It's not just about who hits the hardest. That looks dangerous, falling from here. <sighs> Gotta hand it to you, kid. You really impressed me. I take back what I said before our match. You've got what it takes, Kachina. Youngsters like you, you'll forge your own miracles. And it's Kachina for the win! We'll now head into a short break as our contestants prepare for the final round of competition. Thanks for cheering me on, you two. You were great out there! You faced a lot of impressive competitors, but they never stood a chance. I don't think I did too shabby either. I've never gotten this many points before. You ready for the last round, Kajina? Mulani! I got permission to come see you before the last round starts. Based on your score, it looks like you'll make it to the Night Warden Wars if you win your next match. But, uh, your final opponent... It's me. What? Oh, unfortunately. Yeah, I just found out myself. We're really close in the rankings, so only the winner gets to move forward. But I... I wanted to fight alongside you. I did too, but it is what it is. People with similar scores tend to get matched against each other. But we just have to get past it. War is cruel, and the Abyss certainly isn't going to go easy on us. Only Natland's strongest deserve to stand against them. So, I'm going to give this battle my all, Kachina. And I hope you do the same. To hand victory to your opponent is to take pity on them. But no one's asking for pity here, yeah? So, you ready? I... I'll do my best! Atta girl. So, if one of you has to lose... Who should we cheer for then? Kachina. That's from the beginning, right? <laughs> you mean one of us is destined to win? It's something worth celebrating either way. I'll be happy no matter who wins. And I know you feel the same way, Kachina. So, don't overthink it. Let's just have ourselves a good match. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you after the match. Kachina. I'll see you on the field. Kachina? I've been training so long for this. And Moolani's helped so much. I'm going to show her that it didn't go to waste. Thanks for believing in me. I'll try believing in myself this time too. Cheerleaders 1 and 2 are here for you, no matter what! A competition is no place for regrets. Leave it all on the field. I have faith in you. Okay. Oh, let's beat her up. Hmm, then I think I'll fight some Abyss Mages and then, uh... Inquisitor, maybe. We've arrived at the final phase. The winner of this match will take the final spot among the victors. Give it up for a longtime contender and first time finalist for the Children of Echoes, Kajina! Hey! 
Showdown. May the best warrior win! You've come so far. Still nervous? <sighs> Why does it have to be you? Still, I'm glad in a way. Even if I lose, I won't have any regrets. Come on! <sighs> Kachina, this is no time to be modest. I know you want this more than me. And it's about time you start sounding like it, okay? The winners of this pilgrimage have been decided. Put your hands together for our victors as we welcome them to the stage. With her sixth consecutive win, Cheska of the Flower Feather Clan. She managed to turn the tides all by herself. Ionsan of the Collective of Plenty. With an explosive comeback ten years in the making, Kayulani of the People of the Springs. A seasoned and renowned warrior, Kibungu of the Scions of the Canopy. Last but not least, finally living up to her true potential, Kachina of the Children of Echo. This is no dream. Your strength is what got you here. We'll be going to war together. It's an honor to fight alongside you, Kachina. No matter how many pilgrimages I witness, I'm always overwhelmed with pride in this moment. Pride for you, my brave warriors. You give me faith that our innumerable sacrifices are not in vain that the future of Natland shall burn with the brilliance of a blazing fire. Brave warriors, the following is an order and also a personal request. Go forth and crush the abyss. Seize victory and glory for Natland! As, As you, you command. command. Uh, 
follows your command. Then support the ropes and cheers. The pillar mage throw so close. Traveler, Paimon, there you are. I wanted to thank you for supporting Kachina back there. She really has grown into a formidable competitor. She deserved that win. Not that it feels good to lose, but I'm happy for her. <laughs> oh, it's definitely bittersweet, though. Hey, want to go for a walk? Kachina and the others will be busy fighting the Abyss, so why don't I show you around Natland for a while? Where? Sure! What do you say, Traveler? Shouldn't we play uh, as her? Something on your mind? I'm a little worried about Kachina. If everybody dies, she's dead, right? <laughs> this is her first time fighting in the Night Warden Wars, right? Listen, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. But she's got experienced, powerful companions to take the lead. I'm sure they'll be fine. Glory always comes with a risk. If victory was assured, no one would take pride in it. She's not one to fall so easily. She bears the ancient name Uthabiti, after all. We just need to hold the fort while they're gone. Come to think of it, you've never visited my tribe, have you? Come on, I'll take you. The people of the springs live alongside the Kaholasaurus. Our tribe is an ideal spot for some R&R. &R. I'll take you to all the best spots. You'll love it. Looks like you beat me to it. Kinich? I was planning on inviting you to visit the Scions of the Canopy. Most of the adventures that belong to the guild come from my tribe, so I figured you might be interested. Hey, first come, first served. You snooze, you lose, Kanich. Yeah, yeah, you were first. Still, Traveler, Paimon, feel free to stop by if you ever have time. You're always welcome. Thanks so much, we'll be there. Let's pack up and head out. Where did they go to fight the abyss? Uh. No. Rotation with Nathus, right? Okay. Yeah, weren't we supposed to try stuff to the Arthur after the battle? Sit here. Well, she can sit nowhere. Let's get here. Ah, uh, there is a tunnel there. Hmm. Hey. Purple color. Why is this one red? Is it blocked by something? A 
Let's search for commissions for Nathan. Ah, ah, now I go meet Catherine. Hmm. Well, you know what? Maybe I should do that because it's almost the end of the week, so I can start getting commission. So I'm already, yeah. Otherwise, I'll have to wait till next time I can play. Let's do that first. What's here? Oh. I'm expecting something from Marco. So, welcome to the Avengers Guild and to Nathlan. So, about the commissions here. Please wait a moment. Once you registered, you'll be able to accept commissions here. Nathlan is only full of challenge opportunities filled with powerful foes and explore ruins. Be bold and confident, and you'll be able to seize these opportunities and accomplish great things. And as for Pesos, as Venture, forge forward to reach the stars and conquer the abyss. What do you sell? Oh, I, I didn't notice that here. Ah, the beans. Ah, Glabro's beans. No, I thought it was the other. Uh, yeah, better get milk. That we. We don't find around. Mm. Okay, so uh, anyway, that was it. Then here, and that was it. And now we're good to. Okay, that was a fast class. Okay. Why couldn't this work before? I thought I just had to talk to Catherine and stuff. I didn't notice. I want any more. Uh, oh, where's one of those? Uh, chocolate. I have a child, right? Ah, that's a volcano cake, that's not a chocolate. Okay, so that's a new kind of... that I didn't know. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Come on. What? It doesn't climb very well. <laughs> no, it's gonna no. Springs and flowing waters added to the archive. Okay, it's literally. Thanks, here. Literally. Ah, oh, we're finally here! So 
So this is your home, Mualani. Paimon can't wait to have a look around. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> see, what did I tell you? <sighs> a dip in the hot springs after a battle is just the best. Fetch me a bottle of wine, would you, dear? Just one? Let's get another. It's still early in the day, isn't it? Want to go to Golden Dusk later? <laughs> now this is a vacation. Absolutely amazing. Wow, it's so lively around here. Is there some kind of holiday going on? We try to treat every day like a holiday around here. We believe every day is worth celebrating. Now, let me show you around. Hmm, where to start? Shochi Cattle Records, Kalumchi Plaza. Oh, there's so many options, but I recommend starting with the real highlight around here. The real highlight? What's that? The hot springs, of course. Natural hot springs have tons of health benefits. Go for a nice long soak and you're guaranteed a good night's sleep. Uh, wait, you want us to bathe? Here? Oh, don't be Hello, shy. Come on, I'll take you to get changed. You'll get a different set of clothes. Mulani! Huh? Oh, Auntie Atea! Please, I've told you that just Atea is fine. Do I look that old to you? <sighs> Were you taking these two to the hot springs? That's right. Oh, let me introduce you. This is the Traveler, and the small one next to him is Paimon. They only just arrived in Natlan, so I'm taking them around to experience our customs. Hi there! Hello, and you are? Ah. Uh, I'm Mualani's neighbor, Atea. By the way, Mualani, I heard you lost a Kachina during the pilgrimage. Is that true? Yeah, I was this close to winning. Oh, definitely not the result I wanted, but still not too surprising. Kachina's always been strong. Anyway, it's all in the past. I'm gonna take these two for a dip in the hot springs. Talk to you later. Oh, wait. You'll need swimsuits first. Hmm, I'm sure I can find you something lying around the shop. I'll go look. Hold it right there, young lady. Have you forgotten the rule about bathing in the hot springs? Uh, rule? Oh, wait, you mean... There's a rule about bathing in the hot springs? Only locals. That's okay. right. Outlanders have to complete a trial at an artificial hot spring before they're allowed access to the natural ones. That's weird. Trial? Do you have to fight something? It's not nearly as scary as it sounds. Basically, natural hot springs have higher temperatures that not everyone can withstand. A few travelers have gotten scalded by the water in the past, so now we have an unwritten rule. All Outlanders need to adapt to the lower temperature artificial springs first. But seriously, Auntie Atea, do we have to be so strict? These two are formidable adventurers. Yeah, I know they can handle it. Suddenly full pain that <laughs> Famous last damage. words. The hot springs are not to be underestimated. You can never be too careful. Besides, the environment's been unstable lately. Mm. Could be a sign that the abyss is about to attack. Oh, that sounds dangerous. You know, Paimon's really not all that formidable, so careful is good. Exactly. There will be no excessive risk-taking on my watch. Mualani, take them to the artificial spring first. Okay, okay. That's more like it. And don't try anything funny. I'm heading to the artificial spring in a bit, and if I don't see you there, your days of copping free meals at my place are done. Relax, relax. Oh, by the way, Atea, how have you been feeling lately? Much better. How else would I have the energy to keep an eye on all you rascals? <laughs> hey! You over there! How many times have I told you no roughhousing near the hot springs? Oh, shoot! That weird lady's back again! 
<laughs> she doesn't know uh, them. Run! Uh, stop right there! Ugh, you need a stern talking to! She sure has a lot of energy. Is she an old friend of yours? You seem really close. <laughs> She's a legend in our tribe. Everyone knows her. Back before I inherited my ancient name, she was one of Natland's most renowned warriors. Famous for her love of hot springs. In fact, she often threw parties at the hot springs. She referred to anyone who came to these parties as her hot spring buddies. The attendees were all respected warriors like Liliuo, Kayulani, Vichama, oh, and the Archon. If Paimon lived here, she would take advantage of the hot springs too. It's just... During battle, she was impaled in the abdomen by an abyssal monster. The doctors managed to save her life, but they made it clear that she could never bathe in the hot springs again. Abyssal power still exists within her body. Immersing herself in hot water would accelerate the corrosion of her internal organs and the progression of her illness. Oh, no wonder she has so many scars. Lyman had no idea she was so seriously injured. That's normal. She never talks about her injury. She's worked tirelessly over the years to dig up artificial springs so that more and more people can experience our tribe's natural wonders, even though she can't enjoy them herself. I really respect her for that. Anyway, let's head to the artificial springs. If Auntie Atea gets there before us, we're gonna be in some real hot water. When they die to the abyss. Oh. What exactly happens to their body? Oh, hey, hang on. So, this is where I am not supposed to go to. Okay, an outsider. Okay, no problem. I thought maybe this would hurt. I told you the chief would agree. Where's the chief a child? Well, let's get moving then. We can't let a word of this slip to anyone else. Hey, Amina, Hikaru, Marokao. You three seem particularly cheerful today. What's the occasion? Oh, Mulani. <laughs> You're back. Um, who are these two? This is the Traveler and Paimon, two very important guests. I wanted to take them to the natural hot springs, but... Auntie Atea caught us, so we had to come here first. Oh, what a coincidence! We were just talking about her! We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. Really? How can you tell? Okay, so while you've been busy with the pilgrimage, we noticed that she's been visiting the hot springs alone at night. Yeah, specifically the hot springs in the cave to the north of our settlement. I'm sure you know the one. Apparently, she used to go there a lot before they became abandoned for some reason. She could never come into contact with hot water before, and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean, it's pretty yeah. obvious what that means, right? It's not that she couldn't go. Yeah, so we got to thinking, what if we renovated the abandoned spring behind her back, then threw her a huge surprise party? Chief Amina thinks it's a great idea, too. So, you want in? Of course! How could you even think of pulling this off without me? She's going to die. I'm a little busy right now, though. I'll come find you once we're done at the hot springs. <laughs> of course! Take your time. You should focus on our guests for now. These artificial springs are pretty new, but the experience is just as good as the natural ones, if you ask me. We really worked hard on them, so I hope you enjoy. And you two, I know you want to focus on Atea's surprise, but don't forget your patrol duties in the meantime. The Abyss could attack at any moment, so we need to stay vigilant. You got it, Chief. We'll keep an eye out. You can count on us. All right, we're off then. See you at the abandoned spring, Mulani. Okay, the issue in Nathan will be that this attack, and then, because everything is also gonna true head out. so far. Have fun.
Finally, it's hot springtime! Oh, I already arranged swimwear for you guys, by the way. Come on, I'll show you to the changing room. When did she arrange that? Will they change clothes? Because so far, we just had a couple of masks that we couldn't <laughs> use again at will. Wait, why does it fit surprisingly well? What do you think? Can you feel the warmth relax every muscle in your body? Yeah, it's so nice. <gasps> you made a the point steam there. is warm too. The first time I came to the hot springs, there was no calming effect whatsoever. I was such a little ball of energy, the moment my parents looked away, I ran off to the high temperature pools. It was actually pretty funny looking back on it. They were absolutely frantic, looking for me all over, until finally, they saw my head slowly poke out from under the water. I was too young to remember the whole ordeal, but my parents told me all about it. A natural born swimmer, my mother called me. Just like her, I taught myself how to dive underwater the first time I ever went swimming. So feel free to go for a swim. I'll be right here if you need rescuing. Okay, here goes nothing. <clears throat> Auntie Atea, you really came to check on us? Wow. <laughs> of course. Three. And I'm Art glad books. you listened. I brought you all some milk and snacks as well. I'll just leave them here. <sighs> the temperature in the artificial springs isn't too high, so I went with Soros crackers and grain fruit chips. See how you like them. Oh, <laughs> thank you! Um, mm, these are great! Well, I did make them myself. Very few young people know how to truly appreciate hot springs, so listen carefully. The temperature of the hot spring not only determines the type of snacks you should choose, but also the amount of time you should spend in the water. To bathe in a hot spring is to completely empty your mind. As such, swimming around the pool is incredibly disruptive and impolite, and something you should absolutely not learn from Mualani. Hey! <sighs> All right, looks like you were able to adapt to the temperature, no problem. You should be able to switch to the natural springs then. Well, I've got to get going. Oh, and make sure you drink your milk. I'm looking at you, Mualani. <sighs> I still remember how you used to pour it into the water when you were little. <sighs> that better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. Uh, okay, okay. Paimon didn't think you were the type to do something like that. <laughs> I remember thinking I'd totally get away with it, too. But turns out milk is pretty easy to spot when you pour it into clear water. Hmm, not my best work. That was fast. Some people get dizzy if they stay in here too long. You guys all right? Paimon's fine, just a bit stuffed. And she can't remove her crown. That's interesting. She was using her crown. Still. Looks like you two are naturals. Oh, by the way, I have to leave you on your own for a little while this afternoon. I'm gonna help the others fix up that abandoned spring. And I certainly don't trust their aesthetic tastes. Who knows what will become of the place if I leave them unattended. In exchange, though, I can recommend a couple of shops that are worth a visit. Oh, uh, we'll help too, as long as we're not in the way. Huh? Let's see how it is before. I think it has been really kind to us. Yeah, she brought us snacks and taught us about the hot springs. We want to do our part too. Friends are supposed to help each other out. We'd feel bad otherwise. Well then, the more the merrier. Alright, we should get going. Let's organize the best hot spring gathering Natland's ever seen. Well, Lily had to change clothes as well. Isn't she already using a uh, swimsuit? Hmm. 
Mulhani! Wait, you brought our guests too? We're here to help! But you're important guests! We can't put you to work! We're gonna do our parts. We don't have anything else to do at the moment. That doesn't sound too good. Alright, alright. Stop trying to out-polite each other, would you? The sooner we get this party started, the sooner we get to enjoy the real party. Now, where to start? Hmm, looks like the water outlet is blocked pretty bad. We'll need to dig under it. Ooh, those boxes in the corner need to be thrown out as well. Oh! They're moldy as all get out! Ugh. Also, someone needs to go out and get some cloth, wood, and decorations. Oh, and snacks too. I say we get enough for 20 or 30 people. Bulk purchases fetch the best prices after all. Oh, but don't just accept the first offer they give you. Uh, uh, I'm not good at haggling. Why don't you go? Hey, I'm not any better, and I wouldn't even know what to buy. Um, how about we handle things here while you three deal with the shopping? Yeah, that works too. Yeah, she wants you to be here to fix things. I can introduce you to all the shops while we're at it. All right, let's meet back here later. Well, she told us to go check the shops before she come here, so wouldn't it be best if she just go there? To digging then? Anyway. Let's go. Any people here? One is getting crowded. Right here. Hey there, Yellow Fast. Hope business has been going well. Well, if it isn't Moolani, back from the pilgrimage. That's right. Didn't make the cut this year, though. Well, it wouldn't be a competition if everyone got to win. So what'll it be today? Here, it's all on the list. Quite a sizable order, as you can see. So, uh, can we expect a discount? Wow, that is a large order. What's it all for? A party? That's right. Uh, keep this between us for now, but... We're throwing a hot spring party for Auntie Atea. Wait, you're saying she can go in the hot springs again? That's great news! How about this? You can have the decorations on the house, and I'll give you 20% off the cloth and wood. Come on, I know you can sweeten the deal. That pile of wood's been sitting there since I left for the pilgrimage. At this rate, you need to get rid of it or it's gonna go moldy. All right, all That's right. That's so much of a good deal, right? Such a handful. Just give me a moment while I pack all this up for you. Wow, that was amazing, Mulani! <laughs> All in a day's work. By the way, Yellowfath, are these two stones for sale? Interested? They won't come cheap. I'm not planning to haggle this time, I promise. Package them separately, would you? Are those ostentatious? Nope. Kachina likes shiny little trinkets, so whenever I come across something like that, I always buy it for her. I'll hold on to them for now. It'll be a nice little surprise for her when she returns victorious from battle. I'm sure she'll like it. All right, that should be everything. If you could just double check, make sure nothing's missing. Let me see. Huh? What's this crate of juice doing here? That's on the house. Seven years ago, when the Abyss attacked our tribe, Atea saved my brother's life. She never asked for anything in return, but I could never forget what she did for my family that day. So, send her my regards, would you? And have fun! Oh, we will. It's gonna be a party to remember. Thanks a lot, Yellowfath. Well, that's our shopping done. Let's head back. We're back! How's everything going? Wow, this place cleaned up nice! You got the water unblocked too! <laughs> Good work! I thought there would be more water. I would hope so. We spent all day clearing out debris from the bottom of the spring. Did you guys get everything? 
Oh, we brought back tons of stuff. We set it down near the cave entrance. All right then, roll up your sleeves, everyone, and let's get back to work. Actually, why don't you two take a break? I'll handle it from here. Traveler, mind lending me a hand? Close the door. Hope the so, I was brainstorming on the way over, and I'm thinking we could draw something on the wall over here, and the snacks and drinks can go over there. So, what do you think? Not bad, right? It looks amazing! I might have no idea you were such a great designer! Well, I'm usually the one in charge of the family store, so I'm pretty mm. good at things like renovation and organization. But Not to mention, this was totally a group effort. Still, I didn't expect it to take quite this long. Guess it's too late to invite Auntie Atea over, huh? Yeah, uh, tonight's definitely not gonna work. Chief Amina set up those patrols to guard against the Abyss, and Atea volunteered. So she's on watch tonight. I see. Well, guess the surprise will have to wait until tomorrow. Hmm, this could actually be a good thing. She can relieve all the exhaustion of keeping watch all night by soaking in the hot spring! Ha! <laughs> She's gonna love it! Well, let's call it a day then. Traveler, Paimon, you must be tired too. Come on, I'll take you to the inn. All right, this is it. Get a good night's sleep, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Yep, good night! Ah, my mind's exhausted. We really went all over the place today, didn't we? Anyway, we need to be well rested for the party tomorrow, so let's head inside. And so we have the Katea. <laughs> Why now? Uh, hi. What's with all the noise? Traveler, Paimon, wake up! Mulani? What's going on? Uh, where did all these monsters come from? Uh, that's not the abyss. It's the abyss. Our patrols are trying it to is? drive them back as we speak. That's Come a... with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. Uh, Mualani, a little help over here. We can't hold them back much longer. One moment. I'll be right there. Welcome to. Let's show those creatures what we're made of. Couldn't have said it better myself. Hang in there. We're here to help. Oh. Amazing! Yeah. Reconstitute! Overrule! I am rising! Oh. Have they been contaminated by the abyss? No, they are the abyss. Destroy them! Neutralize! 
Uh, uh, thank you. <sighs> I'm alright. Go help the others. I... I almost died. Stabilize! Extract! We've cleared out most of the monsters over here. Thanks for your help. It would have taken me ages on my own. Looks like we're still in for a long night, though. We still have no idea where these creatures are coming from. Let's go ask Amina. She'll have a better handle on the situation. clear out those monsters. We were prepared for an attack, but we didn't have enough people to prevent them from breaking through our defenses. No casualties so far, though. Where'd they come from this time? The east side. We've pinpointed the position of an abyssal pylon, but What's we that? don't have enough manpower to take it down. We an are. abyssal pylon? What's that? A kind of gate created by the abyss. One that allows monsters from the Night Kingdom to enter the physical world. The only way to end the attack is to destroy the pylon as soon as possible. Otherwise, the endless hordes of monsters will exhaust our defenses. Exactly. That's what I'm most concerned about. Their numbers suggest there might even be multiple pylons in the area. We're searching for them as we speak. Alright, we'll go seal off the one to the east. Traveler, Paimon. Can I count on your help again? Of course! We can't just sit back and do nothing! On behalf of the people of the Springs, you have my thanks. We're counting on you. Let's go. There's no time to lose. Take care, Amina. On behalf of the people of the Springs, Okay, see. Faster. <laughs> Need a surfboard? Oh. Solidify. Neutralize. Transfixed. Thank goodness you were here. Mulani, is that the pilot? That's it, all right. Come on, let's get. The part of the abyss, the sense of all the world, display a rejection of all that is. Uh, target project by the void barriers cannot be damaged while defended by it. Only by attacking the enemy with enemy attacks a certain number of times can it be destroyed. Additionally, not so aligned elemental attacks seem to be able to destroy void barriers with greater ease. Of this. Stabilize! Overruled! Out of the way! Away! Pylon! It's over there! Hurry! Uh, no, no, Okay, everything vanishes. Whew! That should 
can't do it, right? I don't see any more monsters, so... Looks like we're in the clear. Do these attacks happen a lot? Must be hard on your tribe. Yeah, it makes things hard sometimes, but... That's how our ancestors have always lived. Besides, the Abyss doesn't care how difficult our lives are. Fighting back is the only option. Come on, we should head back. Huh? What are you looking at? Is there something over there? Look over there. So many monsters. You're right! Mualani, look! They're coming from that direction! Wait, that area looks kind of familiar! Is it location of the Bannon Spring? <sighs> what? How unlucky can we get? We just finished the renovations. We probably don't have any reinforcements over there, so it's up to us. Let's move! Huh? Seems like the monsters are decreasing in number. Come on, everyone! Keep it up! Ah, she goes over water. Uh. Need a surfboard? Reconstitute! Sure. Order guide you! Go on. Oh. Witness my eyes. Solidify. Overrule. This is order. Yeah, I have water right here. Oh, is she a portal to the abyss? Ataya, what are you doing here? Where's the pylon? <laughs> Where do you think? If I'm here, means that thing is long gone. I was in a hurry, so it's not my best work. You should check if all the important stuff is still here. Stop talking for now. That wound looks bad. The abyssal power is corroding your body. Is this the right area? Hello? Anyone there? <sighs> Mulani and Atea. What's going on? We were told the second pylon was over here. Atea took care of it, but she's injured. Quick, someone get a doctor. <sighs> all right, all right, stop fussing. Don't you think I know my own limits? The main thing is, they didn't destroy anything. This is a beautiful hot spring, by the way. I can tell how much work you put into it. Wait, no! This was meant to be... a surprise. <laughs> For me, right? I know. Atea! <laughs> you think I couldn't tell you were avoiding me on purpose? Not one of you stopped to say hello today. It couldn't be more obvious that you were hiding something. <laughs> and you, Mualani, were you the one that brought the snacks? How many times have I told you, you have to choose them based on the temperature of the water? <sighs> oh, forget about that. The doctor's almost here and you're gonna get all better. Then we can have a meal together and I'll help you make whatever you want, okay? You just have to hold on. Well, and said Altea has been injured by the abyss before. Maybe that's why the corrosion is so fast this time. This rage is not going to make it until the help arrives. Maybe there's something I can do. Uh. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. 
What? The crystal has been purified? When? The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? That's right, back then I didn't do something Atea. like that again. Atea. Some other time, somewhere. Maybe Sumeru. Let me try something. Wait, what do you mean? Magic hands. <gasps> what is this? Some sort of purification? The abyssal power, it's being cleansed away. How can that be? I never knew that was even possible. <coughs> Atea! <sighs> the mark of the abyss. It's gone. Yes, thanks to the traveler. By the way, traveler, are you all right? I just saw you purify abyssal power from Atea's body. That didn't injure you in any way, did it? I'm fine. You're sure? I'm one of the abyss, of course. Good. Good. Oh, thank goodness. You scared us all half to death just now. A group of young tribes people race over surround you with Atea. It tells you in the air over and over. All right, everyone, head back and Europe. get some rest. We'll meet here tomorrow. We'll celebrate Atea's recovery and our triumph over the abyss. And most importantly, we'll show the Traveler and Paimon how grateful we are for their aid. Let's make it an occasion to remember. Dismissed! Got it! Got any other secret powers I should know about? <laughs> oh, but seriously, you really came through for us tonight, so thank you. Paimon almost forgot you had that ability. You used to back in Mondstadt to cleanse Devalin's tears, didn't you? Yeah, and what else did I cleanse? That was, that was some else. quick thinking, Traveler. Huh? You look like something's bothering you. What's wrong? I didn't want to spot the mood earlier, but when I was purifying the abyss of power within Atea, I could sense something. And then self the power have existed here but for years, corroding it from the inside. I did my best to cleanse the power just now, but it's already deeply ingrained within her internal organs, leaving her as fragile as a dry leaf in the wind. How does he really know all that? It, it, he isn't that uh, knowledgeable, is he? Abyssal power still exists within her body. Immersing herself in hot water would accelerate the corrosion of her internal organs and the progression of her illness. We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. She could never come into contact with hot water before, and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean, it's pretty obvious what that means, right? Yeah, she was getting worse and worse. I don't think she was going to the hot springs because she was recovering, but because she realized her condition had taken a decisive turn for the worse. I'm just not sure if I should tell Malani. Hello! Traveler! Maybe you can zone out some other time? Because Paimon can barely keep her eyes open. Let's head back for now. With doubts still lingering in your heart, you return to the inn or rest until next morning until it's time for the hot spring party. Oh, come on, you brought me here, can't you bring me back? Shark 
Slash should be slightly faster at all, but power retainer is still a better means of transportation. Not interested in hanging out with the other kids? Snacks not to your taste? Hot spring temperature too high? None of the above, huh? I heard you were the one who cleansed the abyssal power yesterday. You sensed it. Didn't you, you heard. You were there. You were still awake. You were up afterwards. I was hoping to keep it a secret for a few more days. Didn't want to ruin the celebrations and all. But looks like it was no use. Who, me? Yes, you. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Hey, uh, where are you going? Did something happen? I'm just going to get some air. It's too noisy in here. You have fun. We'll be right back. Oh, and there are extra snacks in that box over there if they need replenishing. Bake them all fresh this morning. All right, sounds great. Ah, I didn't think I was invited to Mulani. Walk. Yeah? <laughs> You've gotten so tall. You know that. Feels like just yesterday you were that rambunctious kid causing trouble all around the hot springs. <laughs> It's like all that time passed in the blink of an eye. Tell me, how are your parents? They're away on business. Seriously, Ateo, what's going on? You're acting strange. Traveler, did something happen? Both of you seem a little off today. I guess I should explain. I wasn't visiting the hot springs because I was getting better. And that pylon yesterday, I didn't go face it by myself because I was reckless or too anxious to wait for reinforcements. It's because my body isn't going to last much longer. Your friends saved my life in that cave, and because of that, I got to enjoy this celebration with you all. But I'm just a few days shy of the end. The hot springs... I'm just trying to enjoy them for as long as I have left. Oh. Mualani? That better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. That's what you said back at the artificial spring. I... had a bad feeling then, but I didn't want it to be true. I... Wanted to believe you were actually recovering. <sighs> you want to know something? Recovery, death, to me, the two aren't all that different. Both are worth celebrating. <laughs> You've never been resurrected, so you might not understand. But death and I? We're old pals by now. There's nothing sad about being reunited with an old friend. I lived with regret for a long time. Regret that my illness meant I could no longer take to the front lines, especially as our nation slid deeper into crisis. But yesterday, I was finally able to let go of that regret. Not only because I found the strength to fight the abyss, even at the end of my life, but because I got to see you in action, Mualani. Seeing you out there, it made me realize that I don't need to worry about our tribe or our nation's future. You have the capacity to bring us all together. Even if I was never injured, old age would still take me one day. <sighs> but I've done what I needed to do. The future is in your hands now. Just remember, whether in life or death, I am always with you. That's a different animation. I understand. 
seems like you've given this a lot of thought, Atea. Thank you for telling me all this. I'll do everything in my power to protect our tribe, our nation, and live up to the example you set for me. Good. Oh, and if any of you have the chance to meet with the Archon, could you give this to her for me? Uh, I thought the problem if she dies is that she couldn't be resurrected, but if she has died before and be resurrected, can't she just be a gay? What is it? A talisman I've carried with me my whole life. It may seem strange to say while I'm still alive, but just think of it as a relic I'm leaving for her. It's brought me good fortune in battle. Even after I became too sick to fight, I never took it off. Just tell her it embodies fond memories and my strength of will. <laughs> She'll know what I'm trying to say. Don't worry. We'll make sure she gets it. <sighs> all right. That's all I wanted to say. Let's head back to the party. No use spending what little time I have left being sad. Traveler, Atea, Mualani! If you don't hurry up, there won't be any snacks left! Excuse me, what did I say about bathing in the hot springs on a full stomach? Hey, are you listening to me? Aurora has a great time it's pissing up the atmosphere when it comes to the time she go. She reaches the group, she passes my on her shoulder lightly. Life is a journey in which there's no turning back. So forge ahead and don't hold back. Okay. Ah, that was X1. Bless your thunder's flame. Oh, what? What? Yes, talisman. There's a wonder what if the hot springs were never to try, nor friends to say goodbye. And this land was no longer plagued by darkness, and our children could uh, relish the joys within their reach, free from both care and worry. If a world like that could really exist, just know it could would it could would be enough. If I didn't live to see it, my view. Mavuik, my hot spring buddy, and the god I trust and follow, the flames bind us close, and even death cannot part us. Not only is with you, and no one fights alone. Yeah, but will I keep this one? Because I'll have to return it to, like, a uh, child's thing, right? Child's vision. Uh, wait until two days later. Hmm. And if anybody can take and defeat the Archon here and become the new Archon. If you are of a different element, we will be forced to take on the Pyro. Oh no, you don't need a pyro vision, right? You get the pyro noses, right? So if a person with a vision and a noses and a delusion can have three elements then. Paimon feels like a whole new Paimon after those two days in the hot springs. The abyss kinda threw a wrench in our relaxation though. Still, spending time here really has felt like a vacation. The Koholosaurs are so nice and so fun to play with. Their bellies are super bouncy. Oh, and Atea's snacks were so delicious. She gave Paimon some for the road just this morning, actually. I was shit too. Yeah, we had some kids who got caught throwing <laughs> stones in the hot springs, so not 
much has changed since we first met her. I didn't tell Paimo about her. Hey, you guys. Sleep well last night? Yep. This area is so nice. <laughs> Glad you like it. I was thinking of taking you guys out to do some sea fishing. Later tonight, we can eat whatever we catch. Fresh fish is absolutely delicious right off the grill. Hey, Mualani! Yeah? Oh. What do you need? The team sent out to fight in the Night Warden Wars has returned. And Kachina? Is she back as well? Kachina... fell in battle. Wow, well, kind of surprise there. Don't worry, the team was victorious, right? so the Rite of Resurrection will be held in the stadium soon. That's a relief. The Abyss is cunning, and it was her first time. Mistakes are bound to happen. Exactly. She deserves to hold her head up high. All right, thanks for letting me know. We'll head out in a bit. Jeez, she sounded a little anxious there. Had me thinking it was bad news for a moment. Mulani, you said the Abyss was cunning just now. But it seems like the Abyss just wants to destroy everything! Like, think about all those monsters that attacked your tribe. If there really was some sort of cunning plan, wouldn't it make more sense to send them to attack Kachina and her small team? Um, not that Paimon wants them to be in any more danger, it's just... <laughs> Relax, I get the it. The Abyss is difficult to understand, that's for sure. At a glance, it certainly seems like the only goal is total destruction. The Abyss isn't a living entity after all, so what capacity for logic or planning could it possibly possess? That is but through our thing. long history of fighting the Abyss, we've realized things aren't quite so simple. 500 years ago, the Abyss invaded Tevat. You know about that, right? During the Age of Caria. That's right. Conria suffered greatly during that time. But so did every other nation in Tevat. And Natlan was the worst affected of all. It took the combined efforts of the then Pyro Archon and heroes from every tribe to finally repel the Abyss. Even so, the effects of the invasion lingered for hundreds of years, only able to be reversed little by little. Our tribe's waters were contaminated. The children of Echo's territory was overrun by dangerous sludge surging from underground. Unrelenting black winds tore across the lands of the Flower Feather Clan. It was like each disaster was designed for a specific tribe. So they misunderstood the foundation of each tribe. Cunning. Exactly. We once thought that the Abyss's desire for destruction was a sort of primal instinct, but its methods are, in truth, marked by intelligence. We now believe the Abyss has invaded the Night Kingdom and has the capacity to read the memories of this land at any given moment. And that's how it became so dangerous and cunning. Almost like it knows you inside and out. Yes, and that's why we've been unable to fully eradicate it, even after all this time. Luckily, the problems left behind by the Abyss have been successfully addressed by the various Pyro Archons we've had over the years. Now every tribe is prospering and things are looking up. I mean, just look at what we managed to do a few days ago. We totally fought them off. In other nations... I've seen how much effort it takes to truly eradicate the abyss. The people not only live in its shadow every day. Who knows how long it will take for this war to end. You must have had to sacrifice a lot to get to this point. Every battle... Every sacrifice is in pursuit of a future where we get to stop fighting. Responsibility. Duty. Unavoidable burden. Everyone in Natlan views the war differently. But I believe we will be rid of the Abyss one day. And the efforts of all who fought against them will become a story for the ages. To think that my name could survive in ballads passed down to future generations, it's kind of romantic. Everyone has something that drives them forward, you know? You can do it. You can... You make me want to contribute. <laughs> Be my guest. Heroes are always welcome in Natlan. Anyway, let's head to the stadium. 
Our fishing trip can wait until Kachina's back with us. The sea's not going anywhere. Okay. Black stone under white stone. Okay, so I guess this is a good place to stop. Let me just check where should I avoid the entrance. Uh, okay, just to check, can I get you here without starting the next part? Alright, so I can still do quests, commissions here in the meantime. Okay, so let's make a wish. Okay, nothing. Uh, what do we have here? That's the event that we'll do sometime next week. Mm, okay, I need to do those to really test them. Okay, I actually finished that, right? No. Wait, what's that? Navigate. Yeah, just to know. Ah, okay, that. Ah, maybe those. Okay, alright. Uh, I'm not gonna. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, they're red, but they are marked as available. Uh, yeah, they aren't here. Ah, uh, that's what. They, okay, so in the end, I better avoid those areas. What if I get close and a uh, quest starts? Very well. But all right. So I'm off 